Hey guys, Casey Foster here from NickoGuys.com. Just wanted to show you guys a small project I've been working on, or just a small little website, uh, just for people getting into gaming or that are already into gaming. Um, <clears throat> making a CS:GO gear review website. We start. I've started off with mice, keyboards, mouse pads. Going to be doing key, uh, headsets and monitors here soon. Um, Basically, all it is is we are going to focus on the gear that is used commonly by professional CS players. Um, obviously, I've only got a few of each product so far, um, but it will show all the features, all of the specs of the mice. Uh, we're going to start adding video reviews, and then obviously you guys will be able to leave your own reviews. These are just samples if you guys have this piece of gear. Um, we rate, you know, some of the things, the software, the configurability, the click sensitivity, because some mice obviously have different click sensitivities on the mouse ones. Um, we're going to try and go through every piece of gear that is used commonly by pro players and basically break down, you know, the features, the specs, the advantages, the pros, the cons, everything of keyboards, mice, mon mouse pads, headsets, uh, monitors. Um, and then we have some cool things, basically, for people that are interested in buying new mice. Is we've created a mouse size chart. So basically, the death adder, um, for example, this is actually needs to be a one, um, or it's actually a six. But basically, we've created a mouse size chart. So based on the size of your hand, you can determine like what mouse is going to fit your hand the best. So you could say, hey, I had a death adder. That mouse was too big for my hand. So I want to get something a little smaller. So I'm going to go with the Zowie ZA12 because it's a little bit smaller. The death adder here is 5 inches by 2.8 by 1.7. And the, the Zowie ZA12 is 4.84. So it's a little shorter. Or hey, I want a mouse that is a little heavier. So I went with a Steel Series Rival over the f because it's 128 grams over the final mouse that is 74 grams. So we've made it a few things like this, and then we've got a few things of like what gear the pros use, um, and then we just you know like I said, we have only a few products that we've reviewed so far, um, and we have all of the specs and a video review pretty much for every piece of gear that we've got so far. Um, and you can submit your own review here. Um, but yeah, check it out, guys. Um, we want to really build this off of user feedback. So basically, the way that I want this to work is we're going to do like an initial review. And then we want people that have this piece of gear to submit their reviews. So people can have one place to go to see all of the gear that the pros use. And then what the user feedback is of this gear. Um, you know, like if your hand is too small, you like this mouse. Or if you don't like this mouse because it pinches your skin. Or the way that you hold the mouse, a claw grip, whatever. We want a lot of user-generated feedback. So if you guys can check it out, give us some feedback. Um, and let us know what mice and gear you guys would like to see going on um, the site in the future. Um, you know, that'd be great. We obviously are very limited by, you know, what gear we actually own to do this. Uh, but ultimately what I want to do is gain a bunch of other pro reviews. So go get the pros and go get their review of this piece of gear, um, <clears throat> or the gear that they have and, and put it on the website. So yeah, hope you guys will check that out. Looking for your guys' feedback and let your friends know about this site. Uh, it's going to be a great database and resource for people interested in buying, uh, and, and, you know, fine-tuning their gaming peripherals. Anyway, that was Casey Foster. Thanks, guys.